I'm going to show you a little trick if the details are coming out too fine to be successfully cut on the laser cutter. Uh, and that is to use a blur and then adjust the levels to push the boundary between white and black around. So I'm going to say filter blur. I'll choose a Gaussian blur. And you can set the radius of how much it blurs. So 1.5 pixels, 4.1 pixels. Uh, let's try about 2.5. And you can see the whole image is going to get a little blurry. You'll also notice in here where there are some uh, stray pixels that get washed out. So we'll say OK. Now I'm going to change the levels. So image adjustment levels. So here we have a black and white image. Here's our black slider and our white slider. So if I push the black slider over, it expands what falls into the pure black category. That's making our lines thinner, which is not what we want to do. But if I push the white slider over, you can see how it thickens these lines, in some cases beyond reasonable. So we'll probably meet somewhere in the middle, push the white slider over, bring the black slider up to meet it. And I'm watching little bits like in here. You can see how it's carving away just a little bit. And maybe just a hair wider. And we want them pretty close together so that we have lots of black and lots of white and not much in between. In fact, you can even put them right on top of each other. Get a nice tight image. And now you can see, if we turn off the preview, how we've strengthened all of these lines. Uh, at the same time, we do lose some definition. So for example, these squares, you can see, get a little bit rounded. Um, but how it turns out in the printing uh, is another matter.